Have you ever thought of dumping vinegar into your cistern? In this video I show you why you should definitely do this once, so be sure to watch it to the end. Because you certainly clean the toilet regularly. But also in the cistern we find a lot of dirt and lime deposits, which then flow back into the toilet every time you flush. Therefore this should also be cleaned regularly. To do this you must first close the water supply, so that no new water can run in. Then you flush once and the water should now run out through the toilet and you have an empty cistern in front of you. I have now filled vinegar in a small spray bottle. With this I now start to spray everything here. That means especially the upper places, which we can't reach with the water, can be sprayed with the vinegar. Then we want to fill this cistern a little more. For this I now put a whole bottle of normal vinegar in it. I fill it here completely and fill the rest of the cistern with water. This should be in the best case around 60 degrees Celsius. You fill it up as much as you can see here on the side how the actual water level is in the cistern. This can usually be seen relatively well as there is a color difference here. After that you have to wait. Depending on how strong the soiling is, you should let it soak in here for 1 to 2 hours. After that we can then take a dish brush for cleaning. It can also be an older dishwashing brush, which we then of course no longer use to wash off. Now we wipe everything well. In most cases you can see that the dirt is easily removed and the sink is much cleaner in the places where you have wiped. In all the places which you cannot get to with the dishwashing brush, you can then also use an old toothbrush. Because with this you can reach even smaller corners. Now we do this everywhere once really nice, so that the cistern is clean and free of dirt afterwards. Now you can see that the water is very cloudy, because all of the dirt from the cistern is floating in the water. In this case, we now turn the water back on, so that the water can flow again in the next step. After that, we flush the toilet well, because all the lime deposits and the remaining dirt disappears in the toilet. And now you can see here already new water runs after it and the cistern is clearly cleaner than before. Therefore definitely try it out once. If you now also want to know how you can get your toilet really clean under the rim, take a look at the video in screen now, because there I show you a really simple way. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell, so you don't miss any new video.